Forgive me everyone, but today's video is not about growing, it's about killing. Yes, I'm killing gnats, and I'm not sorry. Recently I've been plagued with fungus gnats, and in spite of my best efforts to prevent them, they are here. So I decided to buy a catchy indoor flying bug trap. Catchy name, don't you think? Here you can see it's on Amazon for $39. But when I bought it, there was one of those limited time deals, and I paid $29 for it. So keep checking to see if they lower the price again if you're interested in buying one of these. The real question I'm sure you want answered is, does it work? And is it any better than hanging yellow sticky traps all around? Well, first let's take a look at what comes in the package and how this is set up. It's really simple. It's a pretty classy looking box for a bug catcher. I think that's the point. This is supposed to be a classier way of catching bugs than hanging ugly glue strips all around. Inside the box is a plug with a USB wire. One end gets plugged into an outlet or a USB port and the other gets plugged into the catchy. Next in the box are the catchy glue boards that sit in the bottom of the unit. They give you about four to start with but you can cut out some extra from any type of sticky board using one of these boards as a template. These are the yellow glue traps I've used in the past and they work just fine and they're much cheaper than buying a catchy but they're really ugly to look at especially when the bugs have been trapped on them. And here is the catchy unit. You can see how much nicer it would look on the counter. There are two buttons at the top. One is automatic mode and the other is manual mode. The manual turns the unit on and off. The automatic sets the unit to go on when it's dark and off when it's light. There's a very tiny amber light that glows so you know if the unit is on or off. And here is where you plug the wire in. And that's it. It's really a very simple gadget. It does come with a manual in case you want to read about how to use this. And the manual is very clearly written with pictures just in case you need them. But all you do is push the button where it says push and the bottom opens up. Here you can see they give you four glue boards. It works the same way as a yellow glue trap. Just peel, place at the bottom of the unit and snap it shut. The catchy emits a blue UV light that attracts the gnats and then the fan sucks those suckers right into the unit where they get trapped on the sticky glue board. The instructions say to leave it near where you have a bug problem and turn off all the lights so that the catchy UV light is the only light in the room. Then give it three days to work its magic, according to the manufacturer. The catchy works best in a dark location where the blue UV light is pretty much the only light around. The catchy model I bought has two modes, automatic and manual. The automatic mode has a light sensor, so it goes on when the room gets dark and it turns off when the room is lit. The manual mode overrides the light sensor so you can turn on the catchy even when the room is lit. Put the catchy in an area where you think the gnats are or whatever flying insect you're trying to kill. If you're going after fruit flies then put the catchy next to your bananas or whatever fruits you have laying around. I suspected that my gnats were attracted to my plant growing area so that's where I put mine. By the way, this works on mosquitoes too. Here I am placing the unit near some of my growing plants and if I press the manual mode, even though it's not dark, the unit turns on. You can see the blue UV light and the fan also turns on. The idea is that the gnats are attracted to the blue light and when they fly by to have a look, the fan sucks them in and then they get trapped onto the glue board at the bottom of the unit. So does the catchy work better than a yellow sticky trap? Well, it certainly looks nicer. It's kind of unappealing to look at yellow sticky traps with gnats peppered all over them. But is it better? To answer that question, I place the catchy with a fresh gluey board next to a fresh yellow sticky trap and went to sleep. With the lights out, the gnats are even more attracted to the UV light and that's where they head. The yellow sticky trap is hard for me to see in the dark, so I'm guessing it's hard for the gnats as well. Here it is the next morning, and I guess I must have put this in manual mode. Since the room has light and the catchy is still running, let's have a look. 
and you can actually see some gnats trapped on the whiteboard down at the bottom. There are quite a few of those suckers there, and the yellow sticky trap, nothing. But I figured that of course there was nothing, it was dark and the gnats were attracted to the UV light and couldn't see the yellow traps, so I kept the catchy and the yellow sticky trap out during the day, and still nothing on the yellow traps, and many more in the catchy. This was really odd. Before I got the catchy, the yellow sticky traps caught many a gnat for me, but now none? Apparently, the gnats much prefer the catchy. Now, here is where, if you're squeamish, you should turn this video off. Okay, if you're still here, let's have a look at the catchy glue board. And yuck! I didn't realize how bad my gnat problem was. This is after 24 hours of running the catchy day and night, and the yellow sticky board still has nothing. I turned off the catchy, and then a couple of hours later, the yellow sticky board finally had a couple of gnats. So, what is my conclusion? Well, the catchy does really attract the gnats, and it is more attractive than the yellow sticky traps. But in my experience, the yellow sticky traps also work very well, especially if they don't have to compete with a UV light. So, given a UV light, the gnats will go for that, but without the UV light, they go for the yellow sticky trap. If you don't mind spending $30 or even $40 on a catchy, then you won't be disappointed. It does work. And if you are disappointed, then Amazon is usually pretty good about returns. Also, if you have gnats or other small flying insects in an area that you don't want to hang ugly glue traps in, then this is a classy way to catch bugs. It is a bit pricey, so if you're on a tight budget, then get yellow sticky traps. They also work quite well, but they are really, really ugly to look at. I hope you enjoyed this catchy video, and I hope you don't have fungus gnats or any other little flying insects. They can be really annoying. Really annoying. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.